It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make the Starburst chocolate strawberries. So let's get started. First, you're going to find some nice, firm and beautiful strawberries. You want to make sure you check your strawberries that they're not smushy, any dents or cuts in them because you don't want to dip those. Make sure you check up under the leaves for any dead leaves or any ants or anything like that. So that's why you need to clean them. So here I use a veggie wash for a lot of my fruits and vegetables. It's made to clean your fruits and vegetables. It removes wax from your fruits and vegetables. It rid of any parasites and soil. Easily to clean, easily to use, and it leaves no aftertaste. So you don't have to worry about that. You just want to spray, rub them around for about 30 seconds and rinse them thoroughly. All right. So I added some water to the bowl just to show you um, all of the icky and dirt and stuff that's left up in there. See how cloudy that is? So I uh, emptied that out and rinsed it thoroughly and then look at the clean water. Okay. This is the after. Okay. So you want to make sure you pour out all the water rinse them thoroughly and then get another bowl or a strainer put some paper towel in it and what i do is just set up another side with paper towel um, to dry them all completely now when i'm drying my strawberries i'll make sure i'm still checking up under those leaves because um, there could be some more dead leaves up under there so you want to make sure you remove those but check those it's important that um you remove those because when people eat strawberries and they see that they're gonna figure they're not clean all right so then you want to strip uh prep not strip but prep your strawberries with your skewers okay i'm using two skewers and i'm putting them like halfway in the center and not all the way through to make sure they are in there good and i use two because these are bigger strawberries so when using bigger strawberries, just to make sure your strawberries don't fall into um, your chocolate, um, you can use two, all right? And so now we're ready to dip, all right? Let's dip. Now preparing the chocolate, I'm using a white um, chocolate candy milk, which is Merkins. I put it in a two cup um, measuring cup. And when you melt down, it melts down to about 12 ounces, what I just showed you. And I'm adding in two tablespoons of Paramount Crystals. I'm using a half tablespoon measure, so you're gonna see me do this four times, all right? Now I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Once that's done, it comes out. You want to mix it around, even though it's not melted all the way, it's important to melt it, uh, mix it. So I put it back in for another 30 seconds, brought it back out, and now you see me here mixing it until I get some of these candy melts to melt down. So I'm utilizing the side of the glass cup here to help with this process. So once you got majority of the melts, put it back in for 15 seconds. All right, hear me well. Don't just turn up the microwave and then go for another 30 seconds. Because when majority of your chocolate is melted, just put it in for smaller intervals and then I put it back in for another 10 seconds and it came out smooth. So here I'm using the mini Starburst. Um, this is like a tropical flavor and um, you want to save your bag. All right. And these are the sour kind and these are really good. So you want to put this in a food processor or a blender. But here's the key to doing this process. These have to be frozen before you blend them. If not, they're gonna turn out clumpy, they're gonna come all together and be a mess. So make sure you freeze these um, for about an hour and then take them out and then bl blend them to a crumble. And as you're gonna see, they came out nicely. All right? You don't have to add anything, anything like that. Just freeze them and blend them. Now I'm gonna just add them back to the bag and this is just a great thing to do. Add them back to the bag, zip it up, seal it up completely, and then put it back into the freezer until you're ready 
to use them. I do not keep them out because if it's humid in your house, they're going to stick together. Now I'm going to get my chocolate to be as close in color to the pink. And I'm using the Chocolate Chameleon by Artisan Accent Sweet Color Lab. And I'm going to add two drops to my chocolate candy melts. All right. I'm going to start off with a lighter pink. Um, trying to get it close to um, the shades of the candy topping that I just created. So you want to add that and make sure you mix until it's well incorporated and you got that desired color. Take out your Starburst, add it to a bowl, and now we're ready to dip, okay? Again, take it out when you're ready to dip. I'm laying out some parchment paper, and now I'm gonna do um, just a set design. I'm doing a dozen of strawberries, but the first four I'm going to dip um, and then add drizzle to the strawberries. So you're gonna see me here. Um, dip my strawberries and prep them so they can be designed now once you have added your color and you got your chocolate out from the microwave you do want to let it sit for about five minutes so that it can come down in temperature so that you don't get that elephant skin and it's not give, giving you that ripple effect when you um, go in to dip so this is another important tip to remember let it let your chocolate come down to temperature so you don't get that ugly elephant skin and you can get some beautiful smooth strawberries like you see here all right now it don't take long to dry you don't have to put them in the refrigerator just let them sit now i'm dipping and I'm dipping to add to the crumble so you're gonna get majority of that chocolate off grab your your topping and just dip all right if you let it sit in there you gotta throw some crumble on top or some to crumble topping on top you can do that as well but just cover the whole strawberry all right now I know the question that I'm gonna get in the comment section is how do you stop them from leaking now you see I'm scraping this the side of this cup right okay you don't want to do, do that even though it's a habit but the thing is if you do do that then once your strawberries dry take some pipe take a piping bag and add some chocolate to the bottom of the strawberry just to seal it up and cover it up and I may show you how to do that in the next video all right so that's how you keep your strawberries from leaking from the bottom. But other than that, you want to cover up your whole strawberry and have them come out like this. These are so beautiful and they taste amazing. I love them. All right. They're addicted. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the same color and add a few more drops Add about three drops. And I'm just making it a shade darker um, just to complete my package. All right. So when you're designing a strawberry package, figure out what it is that you're going to do so that you can have all of this stuff prepped and complete um, your strawberry package. All right. Now, I could have left these just solid, but I had to add some color to it. And um, that's. A teal color that I'm gonna do for the drizzle all right and as you see these are dark in color and yes so I already had some teal um, chocolate drizzle in a bag so this is what I'm gonna use it's close in color and as you see they came out beautiful I could have left them like this but I had to add some drizzle some zazz to it <laughs> All right, again, just leave your strawberries out at room temperature and they will dry. If it's humid, hot in that kitchen, wherever you're dipping, it is going to take a longer time for your strawberries to completely dry. So don't worry, just leave them out um, to dry. Now I melted my little piping bag and I added my drizzle to my strawberry. All right, 
And you're just gonna go over your strawberry and just go back and forth. And again, you just sit it on out at room temperature and let your drizzle dry. Now this package I use, and I'm using the mini uh, cupcake liners for your strawberries. They look much better and they are presentable, more presentable um, when um, adding them to your package. So as you see here, I'm just putting them in here just so to show you how they look, but I am gonna add some uh, shredded paper to them. So um, it's much better for the package, all right? The package size that I'm using is a 10 by seven by two. Again, that's a 10 by seven by two. This is the clear box. I'm going to leave the supplies and the packaging in the description box below this video. So make sure you go down below and check that out. And I am turning my strawberries to the side because they are large, all right? So you wanna set your package up very neatly, nice and presentable um, for your customer, client, or that special someone that you just wanna present these beautiful strawberries um, to, okay? Now for this particular design and package, I know y'all gonna give me in the comments, but I'm telling you, you gotta know your market, okay? Look how beautiful that is. So the price that I charge for my strawberries, for my market, these would be 55 to $60, all right? Yes, that's what I said, all right? So if you have enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. It's your girl, Ro, about to go, and I'll see you all in the next video.